Lord, we're going to have to do another prayer for Michelle A. Nah, hey, we go again with it. What was the last girl we talking about? Uh, what's her name? Um, uh, crap. Who, who was what was the name girl we just talked about? That was last week, wasn't it? Let me tell you something. Some got Miss Chalet in a chokehold. Yeah, because I thought she dropped something on the ground. I, I didn't know she was. Trying she to probably play. did what Bobby Brown did that time. Remember? <laughs> oh, he remember, dropped. Remember he brought he brought dropped that pipe down there <laughs> on the ground and went and picked it up. <laughs> he spit, turned around, dropped that, got it up. And put it right back in his pocket. Man, let me tell you something. They must have gave her some of that uh they gave her some of that, that fentanyl. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And I really like Miss Chalet. Oh yeah, it's Miss Chalet. Yeah, she was going through something right there. I don't know what happened with that. Man, we need to listen. You never too old to be strung out, especially if you was that man was stomping her though, Mo. You hear whatever watch that? I got that I, shit I, saved on my TV. One day you come over here. Come over here, Mo, and watch TV with me. No problem. Man. All right. That's all you got to do. Say that's it. I won't fuck with you no more. <laughs> you, 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 you turn that goddamn thing on and you see her over there. That nigga was, he got, what made me so mad with him was that he got over in the bed with her. And when he got over in the bed with her after he came home from doing some shit, she, she, was, she was in there uh, waiting on him all motherfucking night long. And he climbed over there in that bed with her. And as soon as he got in the bed, well, he went to knocking her back, knocking her loose. I was like, oh, my God, why is this? Name? Let me tell you something. If God would have put a pussy on me and a nigga would have did some shit like that, you would have never seen that nigga again. Because the dick I got, if, he, if a nigga crawl over there trying to beat me, you would never see that nigga again. So, Maddie, he just turned over. Like, so he just came in, turned over. And, and was stomping beating. her. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, oh my God. And I sat up there and I told all the ladies on my motherfucking video, bitch, you, I don't give a fuck. While like I'm sitting here frying these sausages and this grease left over in this pan, you throw that grease, hot grease in that nigga's face and you take that hammer to his head and you clock that nigga in his head until he, until it can't fucking stop. Because it, I would rather sit in jail for a few for a little while and get out and ha- be with my children instead of motherfucker having my having having my having my eyes sitting on the same side, <laughs> looking like a cyclops. And I was like, "What kind of shit was this?" Yeah, that's terrible. He was fucking off on her. Then she went down there and she fucked Suge Knight and got a baby with Suge Knight. He started knocking on her. And here's the thing. People be so used to being abused that they, they think that shit is normal. Kill that nigga! They think it's love. Kill that nigga! Any one of you niggas out here to watch any one of my videos and think that you would raise your hand and put your hands on me, you's a dead bitch. I don't give a fuck how much money I got. I don't give a fuck who I know, who I'm affiliated with, what network. It'll be plastered all over those networks that you's a dead bitch. Beautiful weirdo say... Got some, got the nerve to call his stuff beats. Beats by Dre. <laughs> beats by Dre. Let me see if I can find the clip mode where you can see her. That's getting, crazy. I'm finna put uh, Dr. Dre uh, beats Michelle. Damn. Yeah, go right here. He came home in the bed. It was shit. He, he it was on so many different motherfucking cages. He was knocking her motherfucking ass. He was knocking her ass into the dead goddamn next week. Beat her, beat her. I'm like, bro, you is really? He wouldn't be the Dr. Dre y'all know today. He wouldn't be the Dr. Dre that y'all know the motherfucking day. That's it. Yeah, she was in there writing about. It. Let me see. Let me see if I could. Yeah, because she was singing in here. See, I, you see, I ain't playing. Hold on. That's what she got the. Uh... Then she was sure he slapped her down here. He came home, got in the bed with her, Mo, and was stomping her. I'm going to send it to you because it's going to play music on oh, it. Okay. It's going to play music on it. I said, God knows that he wouldn't be the Drake. And what made me so mad, ain't nobody, ain't nobody that ugly going to be even, going to even be pointing your face. 
Ain't nobody that unattractive gonna be pointing in my face like this. <laughs> the, the nigga they got playing him in this movie was cute. <laughs> now I'd let him hit me from the back a few times. <laughs> and if he need to punch me in the back of my head to get that dick hit me, I'd probably hey! That one, but that Dr. Dre that's out there living right now, uh-huh. that nigga wouldn't have been, you bitch, you wouldn't have been able to point your finger at me. Damn, that's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you remember how Sheila hit, how Sheila hit, the, hit that nigga in the back of his head and uh, uh, why did I get married? Oh, yeah. Bitch, that's how that... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all mm. ladies play a lot of games with these niggas. And I know a lot of y'all do that stuff because y'all got cheering and you got that stuff. I would rather bust that nigga in Miss Sophia in the name of color purpose. You bitch, you better walk Mr. in his head and think about heaven later. Yeah. Because it's either it's either you or them. Because you can't let that nigga live long enough to go beat another woman. Not only that. If he keeps beating on you, you might not make it out. You can't let that. The first time that nigga hit you, take his fingers off. (laughs) If you don't kill him, take his fucking fingers off. (laughs) Take his fingers off, bitch. Really, man? Hell fucking yeah. The very first time a motherfucking nigga put his hands on you, you take that nigga's fingers off of him. His fingers, man. Let them. He won't be. He won't. He'll be trying to make a fist like this. (laughs) That nigga be beating me with elbows. <laughs> the very first time a nigga put his hands on motherfucking you, you got to you got to shock that nigga. You got to scratch that bitch while he sleep and have that fucking ice pick right in his eye when he wake up. Really mad. Have that bitch right there, nigga. You ever in your life you won't see another bitch to hit. Please let's not do castrating. That's that's. I take that. Fuck that nigga. Nah, not cash. You won't right see here. another. You won't be able to see another motherfucking hoe to hit him. I'd rather you take my fingers than my dick. You gonna get your fingers first. You can take the fingers as long as my dick's still there. I'm good. Well, the, the, the dick is the last thing to go because I may want to ride. <laughs> I may get you in tame and I may want to ride that. <laughs> I may tame you, but I may want to ride this motherfucking dick. <laughs> The very first time, (laughs) ladies, the very first time a nigga put his hands on you, you fuck him up because the police ain't got your back. The fucking court systems don't have your back until he, until some real shit done went out, until you almost dead. You fuck him up. (laughs) The very first time that that motherfucker hit you, you fuck him him up because if he get away with it he ain't never gonna stop stomping you and uh kayla sent me the video the one with the tur- with your turban oh she did she said she said she sent it to you too all right well i can't post it because they're they definitely <laughs> definitely gonna get it <laughs> but i mean that with all my heart in my fucking chest ladies I don't give a fuck if you a bio lady or a trans motherfucking lady. The very first time, don't let that motherfucker, don't even let that nigga raise his voice. Hey, 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 you all right? You okay? You want that nigga to be as scared of you as you is of him, but you can't show it. The very first time that that motherfucker get loud with you. Hey, bitch, you the whole up fuck, nigga. <laughs> if we going to be some knocking motherfuckers, we going to be some knocking motherfuckers all day in this bitch. The first time. Because the, if he knock you down and you roll over on the side, and I know a lot of y'all ain't stronger than a man. And it's okay. Your strength don't come sometimes from you being motherfucking physically strong. You got to get that nigga where, it's, where, where he when he vulnerable. And when is that? Sleeping. <laughs> when he rests in his fucking body. <laughs> when he rests in his body. You got to get him while he's sleeping. You don't remember how you see. I don't know. You, I got an American mama. America, a black American mama. My mama woke us up whooping us when we were sleeping. 
You didn't go in there, clean up them dishes. You ain't do that stuff. Did I tell you to do this stuff? We were going there, go to bed. I woke up to ass whooping. I guarantee you before I went to sleep again, them dishes was clean. <laughs> I guarantee you when them dishes was washed. Because I wasn't getting woke up no more like that. Monica said on the toilet. You wake that motherfucker up and he's reaching. He reaching for everywhere I try to figure out. He think he having a nightmare. Where, where, where are these punches coming hell, from? Hell, <laughs> And you get over there in that corner and you have your hair wild like this and you have that bottle broke to say, nigga, it's me and you today. I'm ready to meet him. <laughs> I'm ready to meet him. And you had that motherfucker in that back of his mind thinking, saying, you know what? <laughs> Bitch, if he over there, if, if you don't woke him up and fucked him up a little bit and he got a point at you and say, bitch, hold on now, you crazy bitch. If he call you crazy, he won't hit you no more. He won't hit you no more. He ain't gonna hit you no more. Because you call the police, both of y'all going to jail. <laughs> and you got to realize you a woman. He they ain't gonna believe you any motherfucking way. Especially if they're on some on some nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? He they ain't gonna believe you anyway. And then he'll get out and continue to do that shit. We'll continue to do that. Oh yeah, y'all would she, you, Kelly, you watched that. Uh why did I get married? That's Listen, you mean. hit that nigga with a cut with, with what you hit that nigga with a great goose bottle. Even if you can't get no hammer to kill him, because I don't, I don't want y'all to go to prison because I can't burn you out. <laughs> and I can't put no money on your books that long. I give you, I, I get you the, I get you enough to get you some, some good, some good cheese on you below the sandwich. <laughs> but after that, that's it. You bust that nigga with one of them great mo, give me that great goose bottle. <laughs> you see that great goose bottle up there? You tap that nigga skull in the middle of the night when that motherfucker sleep with that great goose bottle. This Grey Goose bottle is a hard ass fuck. Y'all know the grits too. <laughs> grits. But I'm telling by some of you, if that motherfucking nigga feel you in there boiling something, and he gets he get to speculate, like I'm gonna throw she this bitch gonna throw hot water, hot grits on me. This Grey Goose bottle, this 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 Grey Goose bottle, right? I keep this bitch in here. I want y'all to know I keep this bottle. I keep Grey Goose bottles. I keep the thick ass uh that bottle. Give me that bottle, the other bottle. Yeah. I keep these bottles in here just in case I get into an altercation with a motherfucker in this house. Y'all don't know nothing about me. I'm real. I keep these very tough, these bottles that are that are very difficult to cry. Sturdy. They're sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know how much. Sturdy bottles. I don't know how much, I, what kind of altercation I may get in with a motherfucker here, but you're not going to raise your fucking voice at me. <laughs> All kind of ways in my shit. Savvy said, "Crown don't break." <laughs> you ain't finna raise your voice to me in this bitch. As far I remember, I told uh, I told a motherfucking nigga that wasn't my nigga that that jumped up with pressure in their chest, talking to me in my motherfucking house all types of ways, and I said, "Hey, hey, 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 nigga, this is my shit." What the fuck are you talking? This my shit, nigga. Hold up. Because what I'm finna do is shoot the shit out of you. Damn. That's your go-to? I'm finna shoot the shit out of you. <laughs> That's your go-to? Because you's the big motherfucker and you jumped up with pressure oh, in your oh, chest. Okay, okay. And then they rolled down the street and they jumped on, they, and they jumped on the internet. Oh, okay. They rolled down the street and jumped on the internet and started making videos about me. But see what they didn't tell you in those videos that they was making that I was like, nigga, hold up. You got me fucked all the way up, not in my house. I pay mortgage in this bitch. And Chi Chi was standing over there in the corner looking. And I was, and she was looking, and we was motherfucking, but I was, bitch, you was finna get the fuck shot in this bitch. In here. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, homie. You, you talking too greasy in my, in my house. You talking too greasy in here, bitch. And you a nigga, and I don't fuck off with niggas anyway, bitch. I'm a street hoe. I don't fault street niggas, bitch, the majority of my life having to prostitute with them bitches. 
So no, I wasn't busting no kneecaps. I was gonna hit that. Now that was that video was that would have been all over the motherfucking internet. So y'all just be testing bottles to see if they break it. I went. It would He wasn't gonna get no bottle. He was gonna get motherfucking. He was gonna get two pops <laughs> in the kneecaps. Pop, pop. I wasn't going for the kneecaps. Really, bitch ass nigga, you in my house? Oh, so he, oh, so he was going to go night. night. You was in here. <laughs> Bitch, not where I pay mortgage yet. <laughs> so I'm not telling y'all ladies to sit up there and go forth and just start attacking niggas. I ain't telling y'all to do this. That's not what I'm telling y'all to motherfucking do. What I'm telling you is the very first time that nigga pop you or he pop off on you or he lay hands on fucking you, you fuck him up in a way. That goes for anybody that that you scared of. You fuck them up in a way that you that they understand that they need to not they need to not even test that area no more. They need to not test you in that fucking area no more. Because just to show as you a woman and that motherfucking nigga pop you and, and knock you down to the flow. If he to the flow, your ass, he going to stomp you just like that lady. Just like they said on um on uh, whatever that shit was with, with J-Lo. Enough. That's right, Myrtle. You better tell me, bitch. You better tell me. So we having a long show today. I'm sorry I had to go take that business call. So I ain't going nowhere real quick, right quick. Mo, you good? Yeah, you know, 